Oh, you know what I didn't check? If anybody had anything to say about the boots. My bad. That's fine. How do you do? The arena's faked. Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we would like to offer you our swords. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? Uh, I accept. You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. Does the... Can I talk to the other one? What do you want? That's a mean thing to say Bye. to your boss. No, I'm kidding. Do you guys... Does the ghost say anything well, next, sir. Ooh. I didn't take those potions. I don't know what you're talking about. There was, there was potions there? I am at your service. Anything? No? Walk with the nine. How may I serve? Walk. I am at your... You've retrieved the mace. I... I can't believe it. Sir Knight, I bend my knee in awe at your wisdom. You deserve to carry the mace. Maybe I need to have the shield equipped, and then he says something. Maybe that's why. Cause I have the. Cause May I. Your sword strike. I am at your. No, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't care. <laughs> Go with virtue. Seek out the pre. Ah oh, yes, you're the gauntlet guy. May your sword strike true. Greetings, sir. Mrs. Zenithar. You've passed Zenithar's challenge and redeemed Sir Ralvis. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Sir Junkin will be pleased to hear this. Huh? Sir Ralvis and then Sir Junkin. May the nine guide your Is that the shield guy? Yeah, the, no, that's not the shield guy. Wait. Who's Sir Junkin? How may I sir? Boots of the Crusader. You are an asset to your order. You have claimed the boots, and for this I am grateful. The shield guy didn't really care. Uh, Mesa Zenithar. So it was the boots that Sir Ralvis needed to complete his quest. What a fool I was to refuse to help him. I will carry this regret for all time. Aww, that's so mean, that's so sad. How may I You say anything? No. You guys are all jerks. Like, I am at your I journeyed to the ends of the earth with Tess. She's the one that's been dealing with everything. And we don't even get cool dialogue. We just get, ah, yes, you get, you retrieved item. Good job, man. Did that just see somebody go through the door? The Priory of the Nine is haunted. No, I'm kidding. Okay, we need to go to Coral. That's the last one, right? That's the one where we need to go for the for the gauntlets? Yeah... Is it? Oh, no, I didn't actually click on the page. I stole on the chat on the thing. Uh, yeah, gauntlets, okay. So this is the final one. Yeah, so you're only going to get attacked by Aurorans twice, so... Already got attacked by them once at Leia 1. And then it's the time before we actually need to fight Umeril, so... That is well. Do I have a bounty at all? State your business. No. What? Okay. I don't really care about him, to be honest. You too. Uh, let's go. How do you do? Good day. I don't remember that name. Take care. Your armor looks so cool with this lighting. It's really Hi. awesome. Hi. I want the gauntlets. They're mine. Aww. They're mine. Maybe I need the armor for it? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Hello, Reller. What brings you here? I have come for the gauntlets of the Crusader. Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? I, uh, I'd like to know the story. Yes. Well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, 
A knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendar, I think. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. Uh, who is Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very knight from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure. But, ah, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. You think? He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. Uh, curse. It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who have such a burden placed on them, through no fault of their own. It's so sad. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. Oh, it's a picture setter. The gauntlets have been here far longer than any of us. I don't expect that to ever change. Well, they'll almost certainly be here long after we're all gone. Certainly after Kellen's family has died out. Wait, how is that going to work though? If his entire family line is dead, does that mean that the gauntlets can then be? He picked up. Hmm, we killed Kellen. No, I'm kidding. He's down in the chapel hall, resting. You may speak to him if you like. I think I'll just go do that. Welcome. Actually, I want to know. What do you say about the prophet? The church has taken no official position on his teaching yet, but from the reports I've heard, he may be truly inspired by the divines. Okay. Cool. Be seeing you. You can sit on a bed? I want to be able to do that. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelder found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Uh, curse. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. It wasn't so bad. But it's only gotten worse over time. I'd come here, to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. A elder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. Elder. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason He's the he one who placed the curse on your family. Mission? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Okay. Uh, goes to the Crusader. You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours. Until my whole body ached, and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendar want from me? Uh, Prophet. The church is still in turmoil from the attack on the chapel of Debella. I don't think anyone has had time to really study this prophet's teachings. My best advice would be to go, listen carefully, and decide for yourself. 
Okay. Bye. So the thing that's actually really weird about this entire thing is that I'm surprised that uh, that they don't even try and put even new NPCs into the chapel as soon as you're done. Like, as soon as you defeat Umaro, forever kind of thing. Or do the same thing as Pelinol or whatever. The chapel doesn't just like, kind of just go back on its... Good to see you. Thing Welcome, about. Knight Commander. Uh, Kelvin. I... I cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it. But I cannot do it. Because you're the one who placed the it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this. And so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him. And I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Me. I'll get Tess to do it. I'm kidding. I've told you. The only way to lift the curse from Kellen is to pray to Stendar for the power to free him. But that means taking the curse on yourself. You'll be marked for life, as will all your children and your children's children. Okay. Goodbye. Stand up. I wish the, for the power to lift Kellen's curse. I have prayed at the altar in the chapel, Sendar, we got lay hands, and have been granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. He still decided to give me his blessing. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> okay. So nice of him. He's like, I'm going to curse you, but I will still give you my blessing. Come back to see the doomed man, have you? All right. Be seen. Don't be so happy about it. I lift the curse from Kellen, curse of the consumed, which means taking it all myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. It really hasn't. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gods of the crusade. You, how did you? I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel like death. I feel like running. Yeah, so here's what the curse thing does. It damages fatigue by five points. Now, if you're standing or doing anything to kind of help with your fatigue regeneration, because you'll always get five, 10 fatigue, I think, regeneration, it kind of just stops you. <laughs> yeah, you keep Look running, buddy. Yeah. You're like the fastest man alive. I can't believe it. I feel normal. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I finally have a chance to get out and see the world. I'm not wasting another second of my life. And I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Farewell. It's my pleasure. Good day. All right. Sure about that Yugal Bellet. And welcome you. You lifted the curse? Yep. But that means that now you've cursed yourself. Why would you do such a thing? Because I can. Bye. I've completed Sir Casimir's quests after recovering the gauntlets. Nice. Here's the guts. We resist disease too. Nice. All right. I can't believe you were willing to do that for Kellen, to sacrifice your own well-being without hesitation. What business do I have acting as a priest if I'm not willing to do all I can in helping those who need it? Perhaps I need to rethink my calling. All right. 
Alright, now that we have pretty much all of the Crusader relics that we should have. Mind you, we don't have them all equipped. I mean, I can. Alright, test, come on. Let's go. How's our inventory doing? Yikes. Might as well just start trying to store stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll actually go and equip. Or not equip, we'll go store all the stuff we don't need. That's yeah, fine for now. Sir Knight, thank RK you are back. I have terrible news. Sir Roderick. I think he's dead. Sir Roderick, who's that? A holy knight, like you, questing for the relics at the prophet's call. I was his squire. I believed he was chosen by the gods to reclaim the relics. So at some point during your quest for the, uh, for the actual way shrines, you will eventually find this person. I don't know if he follows the old way path. I'm maybe but i don't know for certain but i do know that you can find him while you're journeying for it i don't know if you can find him before you start i don't think i've ever been able to find him if i didn't start but probably uh what happened 